I'm buffing, and I'm half-ass ready. All right, told y'all we were going to revisit the Faraday cage that I've been working on. Uh, man, it's cold up here today. Windy. Uh, done a little more research, seen a couple of better ideas on my trash can Faraday cage, and I wanted to revisit that. Um, and I wanted to get to what I'm going to put in my Faraday cage. Uh, and we're going to do that today too. So it may be two segments. I'm, I'm going to show you what I've figured out and what I'm going to do. And then later on, I'll show you where I'm putting my Faraday cage and, and my ground rod and whatnot. And we'll hook it all up. But uh, so I, I got to looking, you know, about, you know, I put the tape, the metal tape on the inside. And I like it. I think it'll work, but I don't think it's complete. So, I did some research about conductive gaskets, and man, honestly, I looked at conductive silicon and all kinds of stuff, and so I found this Faraday gasket on Amazon. Um, it's really pretty simple. It's just conductive cloth with, wrapped around a piece of foam with an adhesive backing on it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it to length, and then I'm going to, I'm going to adhesive it around the inside of the can. And that should make a perfect seal, uh, EMP shield seal. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'll probably edit out all the cutting here I'm getting ready to do. I've got scissors. This stuff should cut pretty easy. But, so in my research, I ordered this. It wasn't too expensive. Um. And I liked it because it was the right thickness for what I'm doing. But if you need a Faraday gasket, what I figured out was the door gaskets for wood stoves, they're conductive. Okay. So if you can find wood stove gasket material, it's like, it's like metal rope. It's woven metal strands and it goes inside your, if you've got a wood stove, look inside your door. There's that gasket material there. So it's conductive, but, uh, you know, it is, uh, it was definitely, it, it definitely completed what I wanted to do with this. Everything else I like about mine, it, except I just didn't like that seal at the top. So I, I, I wanted to do something. And so before I actually started using my Faraday cage, I wanted it to be right. Because, again, I'm going to put some pretty important stuff in here. Like, I picked up a, I picked up a, a, a electronic, uh, blood pressure uh, cuff machine, and, and some of y'all may have one. Uh, I want to put it inside the Faraday cage for part of my medical stuff for for, for a SHFT uh, scenario. So I, I've got an electronic uh, oxygen level checker that you put on your finger and a pulse meter that you put on your finger and a, a digital thermometer. But all that stuff's electronic, so if it's not protected, it will be no good after an EMP. Now, if we don't have an EMP, I can still it's still stored in one spot. I know where it is, right? But this this is killing two birds with one stone. But anyway, I'm gonna get to putting this gasket on, and uh, and I'll be I'll be with you in a minute. So stand by. We're gonna get to work. my gasket material in here with the adhesive strip and I should be able to put it on the trash can and pull it off and it'd be a, a, a complete electronic shield seal so all right that's that part of the project today um, tell you I went down and I, I've already installed my ground rod for this thing uh, I'm going to go back inside uh, and 
and fix my cardboard a little better that I have inside lining it and then I'll show you the inside before I actually start putting stuff in but I got my ground rod installed this morning. I was going to film that and show you uh, it, it's actually pretty easy uh, you just drive a big brass rod into the ground so uh, anyway I uh, it was so windy and cold outside and I mean it's windy here today um, you wouldn't have been able to hear a word I said anyway so and so anyway, I've got that in the ground, and uh, I actually have two of those rods. I'll show you one of those rods when I when we when we start hooking up the other rod, and I'm gonna end. I'm actually gonna build another one of these cans. Um, I, I found that I, I have other tools and stuff up in this shop that I want to protect too, um, and I, I kind of want them up here, uh, but in my my storage building down at the house where I'm going to put this and, and where my freezer and stuff are, uh, I'll put different stuff in there, stuff for for home. Um, I got we, we, My wife and I have been picking up some pretty cool shit to put in here, and I'm actually going to go pick up some more shit later on this afternoon to put in here. Um, so, again, we got some pretty neat shit to put in here, and I'll just show you where my mind is with this, and I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of crap up here in the shop today so I've accomplished this which is what I wanted to do today and I want to get this inside complete and loaded today so we'll be a couple parts on this video and anyway right now just stand by we'll come back and revisit all right we're going to continue now I've, uh, I'll probably take the camera off the off the tripod here in a second and zoom in and show you some of the inside of the can and all but uh so i have this piece of i recently did some duct work in my house and i have a piece of this uh duct board left over and i, I thought about lining the inside of the can with it but it's yeah you know, it's like three and two and a half inches thick so i thought no nah, that's going to take up a lot of space in the can so i went ahead and lined my can with cardboard but I did use that piece to make a little top to keep stuff from touching the sides, okay? So there's my little lid. I, I used a piece of rope for a handle so I could pull it in and out really easy. Made it pretty snug, okay? So that's that. Um, let me, I'm gonna take the, the, the camera off the tripod and, and get over a little closer. So stand by just a second. back together look I'm just going to show you the stuff I'm going to put in the Faraday cage so stand by I'm going to flip the camera here all right so these these are lanterns uh, battery powered lanterns uh, we keep quite a few of these around. We, we live in the country, power goes out here a lot. So we've been using these type lanterns here in the house. Um, we like them, so light's gonna be important um, if an EMP hits. Uh, flashlights. Now I will place these in a bag box, whatever, inside the Faraday cage. I just took all of it out to show you what I'm putting in my Faraday cage. Um, various flashlights. Some are, are new, still in the packaging. Some are very old technology. So, flashlights. Lots of them. Um, I also have headlights. I have a bag full of headlights that I'll put in there. Um, those are over here. This flashlight. These headlights. We bought quite a few of these headlights on Amazon. And they come in very handy. For not just us, but our, our whole tribe, our whole prepper community. So, flashlights, right? Lots of flashlights. Um, so, any of y'all that use firearms and... Um, any of your electronic sighting devices, anything that you're not presently using, 
I would put in a Faraday cage in case you need them or the ones that you are currently using fail because of an EMP and you'll have some in the Faraday cage to back up. May not be your favorite ones but you'll have some. Um, walkie talkies. Over the years all the hunting that we do and have done we have managed to procure many walkie-talkies. I have many more. But those will come in handy for communication across distance with your tribe, right? Now, I hope a lot of y'all have a Baofeng radio. I strongly suggest purchasing a Baofeng U5. They, uh, I have at least two. Um, I would like to have more, but and learn how to use this thing. Uh, these are crucial. So I have a Baofeng in my one of my Baofengs in my Faraday cage. Sorry about all the noise. And the charger for the Baofeng. The regular walkie-talkies, you can actually talk to the Baofeng. They will share the same frequency, so I can use the Baofeng to speak to these radios too. But you're going to need a charger for the Baofeng. These take regular batteries. So, any of your... The Baofeng are all push to talk, but I like using these little earpieces with the little microphones. So, I'll put a couple of three or ten of those in there. Um, I have quite a few microphones and earpieces for the Baofeng and my other radio devices, so there you go. Um, this is my emergency shortwave AM FM weather radio. Uh, it works solar power, hand crank, battery. It also has a built-in lithium battery. That's going in the Faraday cage. This is a regular AM FM radio, nothing fancy, but if the government's still able to broadcast AM FM, I can use it. So, we picked this up the other day, electronic blood pressure monitor, okay, part of your medical supplies. I, I will have, I have quite a few items, I don't have them all right here, but this uh, a digital thermometer, uh, a pulse meter, and oxygen level meter I will put in the Faraday cage. This is a glucometer, right? Any diabetic in the audience knows what I'm talking about. I have several of these. This is one of my better of my old ones, so I'm putting it in. I'm a diabetic, so I will need to know even if you're not a diabetic, if someone's having an episode and it's sugar related, you'll know. All right, I'm gonna move my box. Um, <clears throat> battery powered fan, okay? There will be more than one of these in my Faraday cage. Look, it gets hot here in the summer, it gets cold here in the winter. Um, be nice to Get a good cool night's sleep. Have a little fan blowing across you when you don't have electricity. Those are important to me and my family. So, probably my most important thing that I'll put in there. Hello, Maggie. Maggie is assisting today. Um, one of the most important things, or maybe the most important thing I'm putting in here. Power inverter. Right? 12 volt batteries shouldn't be affected lead cell battery shouldn't be affected so any 12 volt battery if your vehicle's not running i can hook this to my 12 volt battery and have 800 watts of power in order to charge any of these devices that i need to charge plus my cell telephone if uh, again cell you're not going to be worth a damn but you might have information on your phone that you need so um Anything you need to charge, 
you'll need this, right? It's also part of my makeshift solar setup, so. Um, if you do not have one of these, I strongly suggest getting one. Available at any auto parts store. Um, purchased this one at Advance Auto Parts. So, many years ago. I've had this a long time. We don't sell this brand anymore. Uh, the Die Hard brand is available at Advanced Auto Parts. Good investment right here. Okay. Going to pause and go to actually back outdoors because it's nice and chilly today. So, just stand by. All right. We're going to install our ground wire. Have to drill a hole in the floor in order to get it through. So I'm going to drill a hole in the floor. Okay, done. All right, then I'll attach the ground wire to the lug nut that I put on. And then we'll go outside here in just a second and, uh, and hook up the ground wire. Faraday cage will be complete, so today's one of them days I wish I had a camera, man, because, uh, yeah, this has been a real pain in the ass, but it's all good. I wanted to show you what I was doing, so stand by, we're going to move outside. Okay, nice and windy and nice and cold, and I'm going to ground this rod as quickly as I can, so I'm ready to go back in the house. So... The other end of this thing is hooked to the to my Faraday cage, my trash can inside, right? I don't want to hook to this rod. All right, so we cut off what we need, what we don't need. We're going to skin this wire back. We want to expose the copper inside. So that's what's going to make our contact with the ground rod. Gauge wire, same wire we were talking about when I first made the video, the first video. And gosh, my hands are cold. It is so cold out here, bro. So, all right. Twist this up a little bit so it stays together. up real nice okay ground rods attached uh, before we go in the house I'll show you a picture of the ground rod but that's that okay there's your little better picture of what's going on here's a Here's the other ground rod that I have. You know, I got that much sticking out of the ground. The rest of that's all down in the ground, so you need that. All right, stand by. I'm gonna sign off in the house because it's cold out here. Hold on. Okay, back inside the Fortress of Solitude. I'm still not warm, but anyway. All right, that's the Faraday cage. 
I'm going to start putting these boxes in there now. It's wired up. Uh, hello, Maggie. Um, again, tell the ones that you love that you love them. And uh, this is Muffin signing off. Let's get full ass ready. Thank you.